Hi, and Happy New Year. My name is Toby, and I am from the pre-sales team in Canberra. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to process and visualize big spatial data sets using cloud technology. In this example, I am processing data using Enterprise GIS deployed on Microsoft Azure and data stored on Amazon Web Services. I'm using the ArcGIS GeoAnalytics server to process big data sets. The data sets I'll be using are the entire PSMA address dataset GNAF and the Australian Bureau of Statistics MeshBot data. What I will be doing is counting the number of addresses in each mesh block. I'll then show how these large data sets can be consumed by the public in a web browser. The first thing I'm going to do is turn on the Azure server. One key benefit of using cloud technology to process big data is that you can use powerful servers to process big data as a one-off and then switch them off after you have processed your data, saving you money and overheads. You can see this machine has 16 cores and 128 gig of memory, which is several times more powerful than my laptop I'm using to switch it on. This will take around five minutes to fire up. So while it does that, I'm going to download the mesh box from the ABS website. Mesh blocks are the smallest geographic region in the Australian Statistical Geography Standard. And I'm going to download all of them, over 350,000 features for the nation. In this demo, I'll be using GNAF, PSMA's geocoded national address file. This dataset includes over 12 million points and is over 5 gigabytes in size. This was provided to me by the company Map Data Services. I can see my Azure deployment is now running, so I'm now able to use my GIS server. You can see from the URL that I'm accessing the Azure deployment. I'm going to log into my portal and show you how to upload the mesh blocks I've downloaded. To do this, I can upload data from my laptop by going to my content and choosing the downloaded zip files. You can see me doing this for South Australia here, and I did this process again for each of the states and territories. These came in separate files that I joined together in one large MeshBot dataset using GeoAnalytics tools. I'm remote desktoping into the Azure deployment so I can show you what it looks like when I start hitting the server. For those of you not familiar with Azure, you'll be happy to notice that I just have a typical Windows server that you may be familiar with and IIS. So as you can see right now, not much is happening, but that's going to change. So now I'm going to run the server tools from my desktop with ArcGIS Pro. I've created a new map where I am already logged in to my cloud server. I'm opening up my GeoAnalytics server tool in the feature analysis menu and using the aggregate points tool. I'm adding the mesh box and address data from my server. By default, this tool will run on the same server and output results to a data store on my server. Here, I'm adding the address data stored in the AWS S3 bucket. I'm choosing an output name for a layer that will be stored on my server. Then, I choose the layer that contains every single mesh block in Australia to aggregate the address data. 
By default, this process uses the spatio-temporal big data store and Web Mercator coordinate system. This data store is ideal for working with big data sets that change over time. You can see the tool is running and it's distributing tasks. If I go back to my server, you can see it's really fired up. I then waited 17 minutes for this national scale aggregation of millions of points to complete. I could then visualize the results in the desktop. I color coded the new mesh block layer based on the number of addresses within each block. So you can see in Canberra CBD, where I've overlaid the GNAP dataset, there are a number of address points in each mesh block, like the seven in this one. And in this case, there are many addresses stacked up on top of each other in one mesh block. I don't just have to use desktop GIS to view this data. I can access this big data set as a web user. The GNAF Meshbot dataset is available for viewing online. In my web GIS, I can change the appearance and add labeling and then go to look at results anywhere nationally, such as Adelaide, Sydney, and Canberra. After I've finished processing results, I'm going to turn off the server because I just needed it for this one-off task. You can see some of the metrics here although this includes some testing for some other processes, although the peak was for the mesh block processing. For this task, I used Microsoft Azure E16S v3 standard. You can see the specs here. Okay, let's hit stop. I have saved a copy of the layers in ArcGIS Online, which is the online collaborative web GIS. You can have a look at the results here. I hope you all notice how quick and responsive this big data set is. If you want to keep up with what's new with big data and GIS, please follow me on LinkedIn and subscribe to the Esri Australia blog.